A big finish is planned for Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at day one. Plus, Jeff Hardy's WWE contract details have been revealed, and a Raw star could be getting a name change. It's all in the wrestling news right now. Looking ahead to day one, New Year's Day pay-per-view spectacular. This is something that apparently is going to be the thing going forward. Yeah, they want to push this as one of the, the big events, don't they, of the year now? I'm not against the idea of that because I always found, and we've talked about this on news videos before, mm -hmm. that the, the December pay-per-view didn't have to get lost in the shuffle. Yeah, definitely. It's just that it's like one marquee match and then just a bunch of other stuff hoyed in mm. there. Historically, that's always been the case. So this is what they're doing. And the main event, as we know, is for the Universal title. It is Roman Reigns defending against Brock. No, that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, Dave from the Wrestling Observer writes, at this point, Reigns versus Lesnar is scheduled to be a match designed to have a big finish mm. that would leave people wanting a rematch, which at this point would be the WrestleMania main event. Mm. So we're heading to Brock and Roman for WrestleMania uh, via a big finish. So when when you hear big finish, yeah, stop Just it. Careful now. Perfect. Sixty-nine. <laughs> already, somebody already <laughs> spat their tea out. <laughs> I saw in the comments somebody already spat their drink out. Listen to that, but let's not talk about that. Again. No, let's. <laughs> so so so, what would be the happy ending of the the big finish Ooh. of Brock Lesnar versus now? Roman Reigns. Part of me is thinking something to do with Paul Heyman. Okay. Something because I think it was left wide open during the last Saudi show when Paul Heyman threw the belt in between the middle of both men, and it was kind of like, who's he trying to help out here? Mm. Um, so I feel like something could definitely happen, which insinuates maybe that Paul could be siding with. Brock, but it's not necessarily set in stone and then we get to WrestleMania and then something happens. Oh, so you think maybe Heyman could potentially switch an allegiance? Or yeah. Or establish an allegiance at the, the grand cost? That seems to be where that seems to be where it's implied, I think, that it's going. However, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be sad if it was trying if they were trying to subvert our expectations mm. as well, you know, if he did just decide, no, I'm solidly with Roman Reigns now. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued to see where it goes. What do you think? See, I, when you went, see, you take it in a very different way to what I do, so mm. in no wrong way. When you kind of think big finish in terms of like a psychological big finish, yeah. I, I was thinking they're going to destroy the ring, like a oh, big finish where like they yeah. fight each other, they they both fall off the stage, mm. or you know, they 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 they, 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 they fight onto an airship and they <laughs> crash the airship into. <laughs> AEW Dynamite. Or some, whoa, whoa. Like, some, some big, like, I feel I feel like they kind of want to get Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns doing the Peter Griffin versus Chicken fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just rolling into different scenarios. Rolling into different Emma scenarios. Set. I feel like I feel like we need to be braced for uh, a big finish that is a non-finish mm. at the pay-per-view. Yeah. Do, uh, brace yourselves for that. That might be the thing. But obviously, when we know more, you will know more as well. Uh, the Jeff Hardy story has been uh, the, the big talking point over the last 24 hours. We went in depth about uh, sort of the, the run-up to the release of Jeff Hardy mm -hmm. in our previous news video. Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer today gives us some details about the the contractual situation that Jeff Hardy is now currently in. Yeah, so according to WWE sources, Hardy was asked to go to rehab after the incident at the show and then refused, as we already know. Uh, they said that Hardy was fully aware that if he did refuse, WWE would have to take action. So the decision was made to let him go rather than suspend him. And he was given a similar 90 day no compete period where he will be paid throughout the the 9th of the, of, throughout 9th of March. They do it the wrong way around. Yeah, they do and they confuse. Excuse me, but we got America. there throughout the 9th of March uh, when he would become a free agent. So he's so he's basically now on a 90 day no compete. Yeah. So there there was a few things I saw kicking around that go, oh, he'll walk out onto AEW TV. No, he's not. No. Absolutely not. No. Um, but on the subject of AEW, like Dave also says, WWE did everything they did with the full knowledge that there was a chance that Jeff Hardy would be signed by mm -hmm. AEW, would likely be a major star there. But once Hardy refused to go to rehab, WWE's hands, according to Dave, were tied. Uh, whether AEW hires him or not is a different issue. I think 
think I genuinely think that while some people were like, oh, that'd be great, I think right now it's a very bad precedent yes. to, to be looking to sign Jeff Hardy if this if all these circumstances are what they are. Uh, it, it smacks of when WWE... WWE went through a similar thing with Kurt Angle back in 2006 mm. where Kurt Angle was, was offered rehabilitation and WWE said, look, we'll sort it, we'll pay for it. And Kurt went, no, I don't want to, I want to wrestle. And he went, well, then you've got to go. Yeah. And and then he turned up in TNA and, um, and, and you know, made some great... T- had some great moments near the end of that but and, and at the beginning of that but also had a really dark period during it as well. Um and uh, and I feel and I would be nervous for AEW going anywhere near this situation right now. Yeah. Um, and they shouldn't do. They absolutely shouldn't. Mm-hmm. They shouldn't need to. I'd be very frustrated with AEW if they start talking about bringing Jeff Hardy in right now. I would be very very frustrated because that doesn't need to happen. Uh, moving on, Kyrie Sane uh, in the news today. So we talked uh, the other day about Kyrie Sane setting up a gym. Yeah, at yeah, home. She's, she's like a twenty four hour gym, mm-hmm. similar to the ones that she'd seen while she lived in the States and uh, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports today that Kyrie Sane's contract has expired with WWE uh, they wanted to renew her deal and bring her back in but she had no interest in living in America and uh, with you know with COVID right now travel uh, to to and from America is incredibly difficult to do you know there's there's rules and regulations changing every day uh, so she said no I'm fine so her contract has uh, come to an end with WWE yeah and 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 she says she's only She's only 33, lest we forget. Like, she is, she's still got so much that she could give. And I know that Stardom, a few other sources have said that Stardom would love to work with her and do something with her. And that leads to a very interesting development Ooh. about New Japan Wrestle Kingdom. It certainly I wanted does. to bring up. Oh, Andrew wanted to Well, bring it up, I can so. bring it up if you I'd want. I'd like you to bring it up, please. So, New Japan announced that Stardom Talent will take part in the two-night Wrestle Kingdom 16 in the Tokyo Dome on Wednesday, January 5th, 2022, which is, that's the Wrestle Kingdom in which uh, we're going to see some people from Noah. Yeah. And New Japan also come together. Now, Stardom too. However, Stardom is uh, under the same uh, parent company, right? Yeah, Bushi it is Road. indeed. Yeah, so, but last time they've had, when they've, when they've had uh, Stardom matches on, they've been pre-show matches. Yeah. I've got a feeling in my waters this might be the time where they put it on the main show. Ooh. Quite a development. And you know what? Kyrie Sane is free. Yep. And she's a big drawer as well. I think if you're gonna, if if you know what, if you want to stack these Wrestle Kingdom mm-hmm. cards, get Kyrie Sane to Wrestle Kingdom. Ooh. I've got a feeling. You got a feeling. I've got a in feeling. Your waters. Oh, in my waters. <laughs> Could be wind. But I've got a feeling. <laughs> We might see Kyrie saying, I mean, like, this is this is a, a weirdy beardy hack mm. uh, having a punt at this one. But Kyrie Sane's contract's expired. Start a match at Wrestle Kingdom. I don't want to put Kyrie mm. Sane in there. Finally, oh. uh, Monday Night Raw, a star from Raw could be getting a name change or rather oh. a name change back. back. Yeah. As um, WWE have filed for trademarks, fresh new trademarks for Piper Niven. Yes. Now, we have seen a character change. This is delighted, yes. this boy. Uh, we've seen a character uh, alteration for, for Dewdrop. She has gone from sort of this like giggly baby face mm-hmm. to angry heel. Um, I don't know. Well, I mean, I mean, it's what it is. I kind of liked the the difference of character that Dewdrop oh, okay. brought. Yeah. I like babyface Dewdrop. Mm. I think it's, you know, but we'll, I'm let's let's see what goes. Um, but this would feel like the right time to to move away from that Dewdrop name, which yeah. fitted that persona more, yeah. and move back to Piper Niven, which has got a bit. More of an edge. That's a very, that's a very good shout. There, I think for a lot of us, we were hoping to see uh, her debut as Piper Niven in the first place, anyway. And there was, we were, we were all. I say we were all sorry. I was definitely like, I hope at some point she does just drop it and come out, do all the big stuff, slam Mm. Corey Graves through the announce table or something and be like, I'm Piper Niven. I'm Piper Flippin' Niven. Piper Flippin' Niven. Piper Flippin' Niven. There's a t-shirt there. (laughs) Piper uh, Flippin' Niven. And I, uh, I'm... I'm happy to see that this has been trademarked, and I would very much like to see her uh, come out as Piper Niven at some point. I, she just a lovely dominant heel run, please. Mm. On Raw would be fantastic. Imagine if I like, imagine Tom right. If like Liv Morgan gets the belt, right? mm. imagine that she gets it from heel Becky, and then we get heel Piper Niven and babyface Liv Morgan going at it. What do you Ooh. reckon? 
Ooh. That could be quite nice. Tantalizing. That's quite intriguing. Mm. One to keep an eye on. More news as we get it from coldtoholic.com. I've just realised that light hasn't been on the whole time. It hasn't, but let's see what happens. So if I'm a little bit in the dark in this video, physically, not metaphorically, that'll be probably why. Have a great weekend. Keys, keys. Love you, bye.